In my opinion, internet freedom is a very complex concept to define. There are many ways in which it has been appropriated by the wrong people um, in uh, the sense of creating ideas of libertarianism and, uh, and uh, if you want, political influence. Um, I think that internet freedom from an activist perspective is uh, very much connected to the notion of autonomy. How autonomous are we in our communications? How can we move away from this culture of surveillance? Um, how can we challenge the increased commercialization of the internet? Do you need more? That's really what do you think is the biggest threat to internet freedom as you define it? I think there are two big threats. Um, the first one is, uh, uh, of course, the issue of surveillance. Um, and, uh, and also this, uh, if you want, standardization of practices over the internet, uh, which are linked, uh, again, to the commercialization of the internet. How free are we to actually um, be creative with our own online communications that's, that's at stake? Uh, and that's under threat at the moment, uh, uh, because everything is becoming increasingly more standardized, uh, especially through web platforms. Um, I think the second threat is uh, linked uh, to a much broader political discourse um, and again how uh, often internet discourses are used to legitimize uh, specific political views and ideas of transparency and horizontalism and egalitarianism um, and this, uh, this discourses uh, instead kind of uh, overshadow more profoundly problematic uh, political issues, especially in, uh, in, in Western democracies at the moment. I'd, I'm not like, I'm not sure, sure. I mean, it's, uh, there is a lot, obviously there's some, there's some ways in which internet discourses can actually be used. Um, in very positive ways and to promote change. Um, I personally come from Italy where it is, and, and it is a very problematic uh, uh, country at the moment, and where actually the discourses of internet freedom have been used by uh, Beppe Grillo and, uh, um, and his uh, five-star movement uh, um, to legitimize uh, profoundly hierarchical positions and a new culture of digital populism uh, with uh, severe implications for uh, media reform, for democracy and, uh, and for political participation and engagement. So there are many movements within Italy that believe that actually the Five Star Movement was the expression of a failure in the civil society movements. And, uh, so in the sense of the Pirate Party, it, I'm sure that there is a lot, that there's many ways in which internet freedom can be a, is very important politically. Um, there are also kind of the downsides and I'm particularly aware of those downsides.